Welcome to Swag Fails. In this video, overturned trucks, USA road rage, bad truck drivers. All of these thrilling moments are waiting for you in today's video. So let's take a look and learn how to become a wiser and a safer driver. Start the journey now. The train of cars had to pass the scamper, and we got a butt her trucker for getting past. The driver with the white Peter built 13,430 driving for bug tassel milk, almost kicked me out of the road. The incident occurred 30 miles before Nashville, westbound I-24. Please be careful when you see him around. The semi-truck miraculously avoided that bad crash. In ways, he shouldn't risk cutting across the truck like that. He was able to slow down to escape after the truck passing. A trucker let his truck roll back so far that it crashed into another truck in traffic. Not for a second did he hesitate to see if anyone was behind him, even ignoring the siren for long periods of time. Driving down the road at 55 miles per hour, when this bad driver pulled out right in front of me, he would have been fired of his transportation company if they seen this. I think the truck driver was going lift for the upcoming exit, misjudged the space between them, and basically just pitted the car. There is no reason for this person to move into your lane. Maybe he was distracted and didn't look before changing lanes. Not sure if he had his turn signal on or not. Anyways, prepare yourself a dash cam. Even if he maintained the correct speed and distance from the vehicle in front, the damage could have never been avoided. The hood and windshield needs to be replaced. Please, clear the eyes from the vehicle before moving. High loads, high speeds, low temperatures, all cause high risks. The car was in his blind spot, but 100% it was the truck driver's mistake. However, when you're traveling on the highway, always speed up or slow down to get in front or behind large trucks as fast as you can and as safe as you can because being around trucks like that is never a good idea. This pickup truck was going too fast and did not slow down. Almost instant karma for that one. It was a slippery and a rough road. It was impossible to go at that speed. Maybe he didn't see the curb there. Do not risk going ahead when you do not clearly understand the situation ahead. Oh, wait, oh my God, hold on. Make sure you have enough space to pass at all times. Clearly, the truck was at fault for following too closely to the cars in front. As a driver, he did not know that the truck couldn't stop immediately when braking even if the road was slippery. The close call was just because the driver was in a hurry to escape the traffic jam. A minivan driver almost gets hit by a truck driver when attempting to merge two lanes to the left while being at the intersection. I was more baffled by how reckless the SUV driver was. The truck driver ignored the stop sign and pushed me against another truck. Do not be reckless and subjective when entering the intersection. That's always my worst fear with these big slowdowns from highway speeds. I know I'm paying attention to the cars in front, but is that bad driver behind me seeing this? He should feel lucky that I went to slow down and stopped in time. 
Watch the verse in camera when backing up. And do not forget to be vigilant. A close call on I-15 South in Utah. There was no reason for that truck driver to change lanes. Anyways, it was this moment that woke him up. The driver came around me, proceeded to brake check me, and then wanted to pull over. I changed lanes seconds before, and he was behind me. I guess he was in a bigger hurry to create problems than to get wherever he was going. Illegal U-turn on SR-193, Layton, Utah. He was certainly at fault, but you should have braked as soon as you saw his hazard lights. Safety first. 12-4. What will happen? Never ignore any road signs. Paying attention can help you avoid many unexpected incidents. The driver did not even slow down or try to stop. Is he sleeping at the wheel, having a medical issue, or drunk? Luckily, everyone survived. The cars were almost completely destroyed. I was wondering how he was going to make that tight of a gap with that large truck. Like seriously, a blind curve? For all they knew, there was a car breaking down on the side. The car squeezes between me and another truck to gain spots in a backup. Cuts in front of the truck, in front of me as well. Do not drive so recklessly, man. Whoever drove it did a damn good job getting out of the spin, and it looks like they only hit the mailbox. Those fire trucks cost easily $900,000 to $1.5 million, some even more. Unluckily, they hit that house too. On the way out of the Neverture Cask, the truck decided to turn around and ended up stuck in the mud, and now he has taken over the entire road. The driver with the dash cam tried to avoid the crash as best as possible, but the guy moving at the speed of a turtle still managed to hit him. And he could feel his heart beating hard in his chest. Any percent of that guy behind the wheel is drunk, completely out of control. When driving at that speed, he did not even stop after the first thrust. Seventy seven South changing lanes without looking. He seemed to completely forget the existence of the rear view mirrors. Perhaps the driver were subdued by these streams, causing the overloaded trucks to give up. Damn! Unloaded, don't take risks. Sniff in the tears, driver's seat. Oops, when will this car turn over the bend?
It's hard without help to get through this very overloaded truck. How did this happen, I wonder? Where is he going? Oh no! So dangerous! They know the landing gear has two speeds and goes up and down, right? Most autos, you need to press brake pedal to start. Why was everyone speeding? You need to keep a little distance. Have you ever seen a case like this? Oops, unbelievable. Let's guess if he can drive the overloaded truck out of this jam. It's so powerful that this very overloaded truck can't go through the valley. Good pupper, didn't even nimble on them to get them where he wanted. Could they get them out of this yes or no? Bro is just a flat bottom, so all good. When the Reifen anfängt, ein bisschen einzukneifen, then has das. Hast du das agale Feeling, ne? Voll ist natürlich...
нихуя себе! Пизда! Все. Пиздец. О, май гаш! It's so scary! Maybe he's trained his driving skills to a master level. Wow, he's awesome to be able to drive over crowded cars over such a scary slop. Perhaps he was very careful on this dangerous road. Without the help of the tow truck, the overloaded truck probably wouldn't be able to go. No, he was just trying to get his spare tire down. This is my first time seeing such an overloaded truck. Haha, <laughs> he also seems to be surprised to be like this. Garage clearance the fact that the last wheel turned the body. Five minutes earlier. Sir, come on. They didn't come here anymore. Haha, <laughs> maybe it's because he's in a hurry. Well, who's getting fired today? So dangerous! I hope he doesn't make some stupid mistakes. I think I would unhitch it and wrap a chain around the rock and move it before I wrench the truck.
Oh my gosh! He's still walking even though the bike looks pretty heavy. Damn! That's rotary mode. Is there a long pause or something? Dispatch, just deliver the load. We will fix the trailer when it's empty. For farming, everything is legal. Oh my gosh, I hope that this car can go all the way safely. Oops, so scared. I feel very scared every time I go behind these overloaded cars. I might be missing something. When this video ends, the track still isn't completely on. That's how they make rumble trips. Wow, that's very impressive. I have a hard time backing my SUV out of my driveway, LOL. True respectful driving, real drivers, not wheel turners. Oops! Maybe he's still trying to ride in an overloaded truck. He walks like he's flying in an overloaded truck.
Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. It seems that these oversized cars can always face tipping at any time. Damn, this flip really surprised us. The driver is very careful when going through difficult turns. The transport is ready. Boss confirmed. <laughs> He's gonna. Safety meeting coming up. Thought it was a lawnmower. This is mad funny. Best talk of the day. Wow, unbelievable. Maybe God blessed them. He got extra just in case some got destroyed on the way. Oh my gosh. I saw that coming. I got a video. They're still driving. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> just chilling, bro. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oops, so scared.
when she says it's too big and you wiggle a little bit. He drives better backwards than most people can drive forwards. I almost know that those tires are for tire swing for giants. Oh my gosh, how did he manage to drive such a long car? How? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Just get back in, bro. He tried to stop the car with his hand. You're fired. Why? Oh my gosh, I think it's hard for him to drive this overloaded car safely. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> Oops, he must have panicked when he was so helplessly trapped. Damn, it's amazing that he can still ride on ice and on overloaded trucks so smoothly. It's hard to go uphill without some help. Can you believe he can move so smoothly?
somebody is getting fired. He thinks he's pushing the truck. That could be a bad day. Drop your dollar. Optimus Prime Good job truck driver, I see professional driver If you go fast enough and you believe hard enough, you can make it Oops, bro, are you fine? Damn, can't believe he tried again. That guy still probably makes more money than I do. Oh god, I hope he's not gonna lean off. <laughs> oh. I wonder whose fault that was. <laughs> You're fine, right, bro? Ooh. Hey, Google, park the car inside the house. I'll be there later. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Damn! It is so sad when I see that. Should have drove faster than the truck weighs less. Haha, <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh when I saw an overloaded truck for the first time picking up such a head. <laughs>
lots of fun around, they say. This is why we don't do glass install. Might have left, but not as fast as that guy. What's wrong with you? Lick. What motors y'all got in them truck? To me, that looks like the pickup truck is chasing the SUV, then pushes him on purpose. And the SUV driver is just scared and driving further, and not pushing each other. It could be just a drunk guy behind the wheel, not only driving too fast, but also not paying attention to the traffic ahead. And finally, a silly confusion between the accelerator and the brake pedal occur. He was just trying to stop the car that was being stolen by a thief. But it was pointless when it was destroying the parked cars. Hopefully, her car is covered by the insurance company. No, 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 That was absolutely a hit and run. An irresponsible driver does not deserve a driver's license sometimes. Remember, always check your blind spots before changing lanes. It seems that as soon as the driver presses the brake pedal, he realizes it is not working. Bad drivers often never miss an exit even if they have to risk crossing four lanes in a row without looking. Thank you for joining us in today's exciting journey. Remember to always drive safely and calmly on all roads. And finally, if you truly enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications bell so you do not miss out on any of our upcoming videos. See you again. Hello, welcome to Swag Fails Supercar Fails channel. Swag Fails Supercar Fails is a channel that brings you traffic failure situations on the road, racetrack, and anywhere. If you're a big fan of Supercar Fails, crash car compilation, and incredible traffic situation caught on dashcam, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Wish you have relaxing moments on the channel Swag Fails Supercar Fails. Goodbye and see you in our latest video. I can meet a demon star when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through
I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls, cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know the time can heal it all, if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning